Welcome back to the Disc Doctors. Hey, we're back. We've got time for one more caller. Thank God John's on the phone now. <laughs> John, are you there? Yes, I'm there. Hi. Hey, how are you? Okay. And what are you calling us about? We had a thunderstorm in the area, and this the, the modem channel. got <laughs> zapped. Your modem got zapped? Modem, and it was a combination modem sound card. Oh, you're going to drive me crazy with this. Hey, what's the question? You, you want to see... All right. Now, the question is, can the modem sound card be separated so that you have a modem in one spot and the sound card in another? No, you want to separate the actual card you have now? Pruning, or? pruning shears? No. Is that the idea? Yeah. You want to know yeah. where to break if it? If you get a big enough axe and the you Ginsu hit it just knife, right. you know, it can cut through a tomato <laughs> even after you cut your card. No, you want two cards. You want, want to get two want new to cards? You want to use two cards. Yeah. Two cards are cheaper than one somehow. Okay, you'll, you'll be able to answer that, but I'm going to answer this first. No, wait, wait a second. We both, have, we both have a rant. It's going to be crazy. Yes. People, if, if, you've got, uh, if you've got a computer and you paid, like, money for it, yes. then you need to get these surge protectors. You need to get surge protectors and protect your modem because it's the modems that are getting hit out there. I see more people whose computers survive whatever, what kind of storm or, or whatever's going on, but the modem gets hit because that, there, there's surge current coming over the, that line. Um, surge protector for the uh, phone for line. The, for the phone now, line. time for my rant. My yeah. rant, aside from the fact that they should include these with your computer, my rant is a lot of computer companies with a thing like this, which is actually really simple, John, with a thing like this, a lot of computer companies are going to try and make you pay to do something that you could do on your own. Yeah. All I can say is, thank God we're here. <laughs> so now we'll tell you how to do it. <laughs> Oh, is that me? Yeah, install the cards. Right, I mean, yeah. okay, go up, right. go buy two cards, modem, and a uh, and a sound card, I and mean, make sure they're you know reasonably modern, so you can do plug Correct. and play and that kind of stuff. And take out the one that's busted and put in the ones that fit. Now, uh, that, actually, with you, it's that's it because basically um, there's nothing on the yeah, motherboard. Yeah, you know for a fact it's on a card, right? Not on the motherboard. Yes, it is. It is. It a is card. a card. Yeah, then you're fine. If it's on the motherboard, sometimes you're gonna have to go in with your manual and, and disable jumpers and those pins things. and switches. But a card, but for you, it, put in two cards and then uh, go into Windows and fire it up and it should... Oh, that's the actually the other right? thing that you've got to do. Okay, to make it easier, go into your uh, device manager, cl right click on My Computer, go to Properties, that'll give you System Properties, check Device Manager, find in here your, uh, your modem sound card. The and, old driver. Right, the yeah. old driver, and remove it. Then turn off your computer, take out the card, put the two new cards in, start your computer up in Win95 or 98, should find those two cards and install it fine. Should. Should. If you've got a question for us, here's how you can get in touch. You can call us. Our number is 1-888-845-6637. Or send us an email to Disc Doctors. Actually, yeah, Disc Doctors at uh, KnowledgeTV.com. Of course, we can only answer the questions we use on the show. And if we do answer one of your questions, you get our dirty laundry. Oh, I send you my great. shirts. Todd send you his socks. You can send them back whenever they're done. Actually, oh, fine. keep Todd's socks. That's what I'm saying. Hey, thanks for watching. As we say at the end of all of our shows, Goodbye. So how do you feel about elves? Elves? Keebler elves. Okay, Keebler elves. Big problem for the Keebler elves. <laughs> it's just funny. Oh, oh, they they, they, they have no individuality whatsoever. They're the Borg of Wolves. <laughs> They're like a commune. I don't like this at all. <laughs>